Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you, so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put in your life today. So, I don't know if you know this, but I am constantly praying for anybody who ever, I'm praying for these little blurbs that I do, these little morning moments, but I also pray for anybody who listens to them. Because honestly, um, this has been a privilege. I feel like uh, God God gave me this um, this little, I don't even know what to call it, this, these little blurbs to do. He like gave them to me and I feel like it's a little bit of a part-time job that I do. And, um, and I think about them all week. And, but most of the time, the ideas, uh, I have to pray for the ideas. They don't just pop up. And I have found over the course of doing these for a few years that um, the Lord like waits until the very last minute. I don't know what the deal is, but um, he doesn't let me store these up ahead of time the way I would like to do these. Um, But he waits till the very last minute to give me something to say. And honestly, he waits most of the time until I ask. So on a Wednesday, when I know I have to produce these things by Thursday morning, um, it's about the time where I say, dear Lord, give me something to say. Give me something, some truth that you want somebody, even if it's just one person on the other end of this, to hear. And you know, it's it's really remarkable because as soon as I pray, I mean, it's like prayer works, but as soon as I pray for something, the Lord puts something on my heart. He puts something on my mind. He puts a scripture that I, I had heard about earlier in the week that I didn't even think about. And then he gives me um, some sort of a connection to something that's happened in my life. And I'm just so thankful for that. Um, and the kids were in the car the other day and they were asking me, like, how does God speak to us? Like, does, do you hear a voice? Do you hear an audible voice? Like, how does God speak to us? And I gave them this example. Um, this is how God speaks to us. As we read his word, as we study his word, um, then when we're in a situation and we ask for his help, a lot of times he brings back scripture to our minds that is appropriate to the situation. And that has been how he has spoken to me. Anyway, um, and that's how he says that he speaks to us now. In Hebrews 1, 1 through 2, it says, In the past, God spoke through our ancestors, through the prophets, at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. And there is something that happens when you, as a believer, read Scripture with the Holy Spirit inside of you that applies the Scripture to what is going on in your unique life. Anyway, I just thought that I'd give you some backstory um, and just say that I'm very, very, very thankful um, that the God that we serve is real and he very much shows up um, and very much answers prayer in real ways. So I pray that whatever's on your heart today, that you would um, reach out to the Lord and talk to him about it. As you go out or stay in today, may the blessing. Till next time, Katie.